Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about how to use files in C++. So before we start, I think it's safe to say that we should start talking about why we would want to use files in C++ or any language really. So file handling will come really useful if we need to store some data permanently. Like we have variables, but what if we want to store something when even the program has ended? Well, neither variables nor the system memory will be usable because once it ends, it is all removed. So files will be really useful for storing any permanent data that we want to store. So in C++, if we want to make a file, we first need to import a library. This library is called fstream, f stands for file, and you'd import that by using include fstream, as I did up here. So to make the actual file, we need to type ofstream, which stands for output file stream. So if we do that, and then we need to type a variable name for the file. Yes, you do need a variable for the file. I'll just call it temp file. And then you need to type a pair of open brackets. And then inside those brackets, you need to type the name of the actual file, as well as a optional path. So the file name that I'm thinking of putting is test.txt. So I'll just put test.txt inside the brackets. Once we have our file variable, we need to actually put text into it so that we can, well, write things to the file, of course. Otherwise, what's the point? So to do that, we need to type the file variable, in this case, temp file, then two angle brackets, and then you type whatever you want to type. In this case, I'll just type test, and then another set of open brackets, and then you need to type in single quotes, backward slash n. Now, this part is very important because normally when we would use end l or rather end line, here, because this is a file that will be viewed on maybe many computers, we need to use backward slash n to make it very compatible with other computers. So after that, we need to close the file. So temp file dot close brackets. This is to prevent a memory leak and for it to actually take effect. Now I'd like to emphasize this writing file here where we use the angle brackets. This is actually very familiar to the way we use a regular print statement. So see out angle brackets and then the text and then end up. So here it's actually the same way because the angle brackets just act as like the input and output in C++, at least until C++23 came out. And in fact, instead of end L, you can even use the single bracket forward slash N if you want. This is actually the recommended practice. End L is only used for when you want to clear the buffer after you print something. But anyway, let's run this program. Okay, now it's run. We can see here on the uh, left that we have our file. And if we open this, indeed, we do have the file with the test text inside of it. So what if we want to open the file now? Because obviously, what's the point of just making the file if we can't view it again within the program at least? So to do that, we'll actually need two variables. So first one is the file variable to access it. And then the second one is the string variable. I'll come to that in a minute. So first we need to make a variable, so string temp, we'll just use temp, equal to double brackets. And then for the file variable, this time we use if string, input file string. And here, uh, I'll just type temp file two. And then you put another brackets, and inside that you type the file name that you want to access. So test.txt. Make sure that the file that you typed is actually there, otherwise it'll just throw an error. Now that you have the variables, you'll need to use a while loop. So while of get line, this can be used to get a line from something like say a input or a file in this case. Then type the file variable, in this case temp file 2. 
and then type this string that you're going to be using to later print or do something with that specific line tap in this case and then type curly brackets and in this case you want to print it so c out double bracket double angle brackets temp and then outside of the while loop we enter temp file to dot close this is very important now we can see why we made that string variable in the first place so the way this works is that like instead of like directly reading the file like it was in python in c++ it's just reading each and every line and due to that it needs some variable to store each line that it reads that way we can well, do whatever we want with that line for example if it is a string of numbers we can maybe take each line convert it into a number and then add that to another variable in some other part of the program or in this case just print it out so now that we've made this let me comment out this part of the code since we already have the file and let's run it well there you go test it had read the contents from the file name test.txt and it is printed it out in the console so that is how you use files in c++ thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it